Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Create a Stack. Today in this video, we are going to create a contact form where you can enter the contact information and you will receive the inquiry on your email ID. We will create this contact form with the help of HTML and CSS and we will add just one line of API link that will send the inquiries on your email ID. So let me add some information in this contact form. We will add one name, email ID and message. Then click on submit button. So you can see we got one message form submitted successfully and we have the link go back. When we click here, it will open the same contact form again. Now we will open the Gmail and here you can see we got one notification and here we have the name, email ID and message that we have entered in the contact form. This is very simple to create this working contact form using HTML and CSS. So let's start this tutorial to create your working contact form. So let's come back to the desktop screen and here we will create one folder. So let's add the folder name contact form. Now we will open this folder with VS code editor. You can use any code editor. So I will right click and select open with code. Now this folder is open in VS code editor. Here we will right click and select new file and we will add the file name index.html. Now we will add the doc so it will create the basic HTML structure. Next we have to replace this title so in this title we will add contact form. Now we will add the CSS file also so right click here and select new file and we will add the file name style.css. Next we have to link this CSS file with the HTML file. So after this title we will add a link. So select this link CSS. So it will connect the HTML file with the style.css file. Next we have to add the assets in our project. So let's come back to the desktop screen. Here we have the assets folder. We will copy this one and we will paste it in the contact form folder. So now in this folder we have the assets folder. Now we will open the VS code editor. Now in this VS code editor, you can see we have the assets folder where we have the two images, arrow icon and write img. And we have one HTML and one CSS file. Now we will run this HTML file. To run this HTML file, we will use the live server extension. If you don't have that, you can install the live server extension. Then right click on this HTML file and select open with live server. Now it will open our HTML file with the web browser. Now we will add the HTML structure in the body tag for our contact form. So in this body tag, we will add one div with the class name contact container. We will add two columns. So we will add one form tag and in this form tag, we will add a class name contact left. And after this form, we will add one div. We will add the class name contact right. So this will be left column and right column. Now in the first column, we will add the input fields where we have added the form tag. So in this form tag, we will add the div where we will add the title and we will add the class name contact left title. And Within this div, we will add the title in h2 tag. So we will add the h2 tag and here we will add the text get in touch. After that, we will add one hr tag that will be horizontal line. So we have added the div with the title and hr. Then save the changes. So you can see this title on the web page and one horizontal line. After this div, we will add one input tag. So let's add the input type will be text and here we will add the name property and it will be name because we will use this input field to accept the user's name. Then we will add the placeholder and the placeholder text will be your name. After that, we will add one class name and the class name will be contact inputs. So here we have added the type text name name placeholder your name and class name contact inputs. Then we will add required so that this field will be mandatory. After that, we will duplicate this input field and here we will replace the type. It will be email name will be email and at the placeholder, we will add your email and the class name will be same. Now we will create the message box. So here we'll add the text area and here we'll add the name 
message. Then remove this ID, column and row. And here also we will add the placeholder and in the placeholder we will add your message. After that we will add the class name that we have added in the input field. So it is contact inputs and it is also required. So all three input fields are mandatory to submit the form. Then we will create one button tag and in this button tag we will add the type it will be submit. And in this button tag we will add the button text submit and we will add one img tag and in this image tag we will add the file path of the icon. So it is in the assets folder so we will add the assets slash addoicon.png. After that save the changes and come back to the web page so you can see the input fields and submit button. After that we will add the image in the right div. So in this right div we will add one img tag and here we will add the file path of the image. So again we will add the folder name assets then slash file name write img.png. Now you can see this image on the web page. Next we will add the CSS properties for these HTML elements. So come back to the CSS file and first we will add the CSS for the all elements. For that we will use the global selector star and here we will add the padding 0, margin 0 and box sizing border box. Save the changes. After that we will add the CSS for the body tag. So in this body tag we will add the font family that will be outfit. And after that we will add the background color in the body. So we will add the background. It will be linear gradient color. So in this one we will add two color code. So this is the first color code and this is the second color code. After that come back to the web page so you can see the linear gradient color on the complete web page. After that we will add the CSS properties for this contact container class name. So add this class name here in this CSS file and here we will add the height it will be 100 vh and after that we will add the display flex so the columns will be in the left and right side. After that we will add the align item center and justify content space evenly. Save the changes. Now come back to the web page. You can see the input fields in the left side and image in the right side. After that, we will add the CSS properties for the contact left class name. So just copy this one, write it here. And for this contact left class name, we will add display flex. Flex direction will be column. Align items. Start and gap of 20 pixel. Save the changes. Come back to the web page. Now you can see all the contents in the left side are aligned vertically. Next we will add the CSS property for this title which is in the contact left title div. So let's add this class name and here we have the h2 tag. So write h2 tag and for this title we will add the font weight 600 then we will change the color and after that we have to increase the font size. So let me add font size. 40 pixel and we will add the space at the bottom so margin bottom of 5 pixel. Now the title is looking good. Now we will add the CSS properties for this horizontal line which is in the HR tag. So again add that class name contact left title then HR. So for this HR we will add the border none then we will add the width it will be 120 pixel and after that we will add the height of 5 pixel. After that we will add the background. So in this background color, we will add this color code. Then we will add the border radius. That will be 10 pixel. After that, we will add the margin from the bottom 20 pixel. Now this horizontal line is also looking good. Next, we will add the CSS properties for the input fields. So in this input field, we have the class name contact inputs. So this contact input class name is available in all three input fields. So write this class name here and for this one we will add the width it will be 400 pixel then we will add the height of 50 pixel then border none then outline none then we will add the padding from the left side that is 25 pixel and font weight will be 500 then we will add the color this gray color after that we will add the border radius of 50 pixel save the changes. Now come back to the web page you can see the name and email input field are looking good. Next we have to increase the height of this text area. So here we will add dot contact left 
text area and here we will provide the height it will be 140 pixel then we will add the padding from top and then we will reduce the border radius so the border radius will be 20 pixel save the changes now you can see this message box is also looking good after that we will add the focus effect on these input fields so let's come back and here we will add dot contact inputs focus and here we will add the border it will be 2 pixel solid and this color code now come back to the web page and if i click on any input field you can see this border next we will add the css properties for the placeholder text so again come back to the css file write this class name then double colon placeholder so for this placeholder we will provide color this will be this color code which is light gray save the changes and you can see the placeholder text are looking good next we have to add the css property for this button which is submit button so here we will add the class name contact left then button tag for this button we will add display flex align item center so that the button text and icon will be aligned horizontally then we will add the padding 15 pixel from top and bottom 30 pixel from left and right then font size will be 16 pixel then we will add the color that is white that is the button text color then we will provide the gap of 10 pixel after that we will add the border none and let's add border radius of 50 pixel and background in the background we will add the linear gradient color so here we will add one angle that is 270 degree then we will add two color code this is the first color code and this is the second color code then we will add the cursor pointer now save the changes and you can see this button is also looking good now in this button we have the arrow icon we have to reduce the size of this arrow icon so again add that class name contact left then button tag then img tag so for this image we will provide the height of 15 pixel save the changes now this arrow icon is perfect now the left side is completely ready next we will add the css for the right side in the right side we have the image so here we will add the class name contact right then img tag so for this image we will provide the width it will be 500 pixel save the changes now the image is perfect for this screen now we have a space between the left and right column because we have added the justify content space evenly now we will check this web page in a smaller screen right click and select inspect and you can see this is how it is looking in the smaller screen we have to fix this one so we will use the css media query so in this css file we will add media then we will add the max width 800 pixel then we will add the class name dot contact inputs and here we have to change the width it will be 80 viewport width save the changes now come back to the web page next we have to remove this image from the phone view so here we will add dot contact right and here we will add display none so this image will be hidden from the phone screen now you can see only contact form in the mobile view and when we open it in the desktop view we have the right side image and when we open it in the small view we have only contact form now the design for this contact form is completely ready now we have to make this contact form working so that if someone enter any data in the contact form we will receive the inquiry on our email id for that we will use the web3 forms so let's open a new tab and search for web3 forms open this website web3forms.com scroll down and select html and here we have to create the access key so here you have to provide your email id so let me add my own email id here then click on this button create access key and we will get the message success and now open the gmail and here we will get one access key so we have received this email with this public access key and again come back to the web3 forms website and scroll down and here you can see in this form tag we have the action link and 
method post. Just copy this one and come back to our own HTML file. And here, remove this action, place the code that we have copied. So we have added action, then API link, method post. After that, again, come back to the website and copy this input field and place it here after this div. That's it. And here we have to update our access key. So open the Gmail and copy this access key and place it here in this HTML file inside the value. Save the changes. Now our contact form is ready. Now refresh the website and let's enter any information in this contact form that will be sent on the email ID. So here we'll add one name. Let's add Elon Musk. Then we have to add one email ID. So let's add any dummy email ID, Elon123 at Gmail. Then we have to add any message. So let's add any message, launching rocket. Then we'll click on submit button. After that, you can see the web page is loading and we got the message form submitted successfully go back. If we click on this go back, it will redirect us to the contact form page. And now we'll open our Gmail and here you can see we have received a new notification where we have the name, email ID and message that we have entered in the contact form. So this is how this contact form is working successfully. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Great Stack to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.